In Money Watch, the Biden administration is exploring new ways to lower the nation's gas prices. Yeah, it comes as several Democrats in Congress call for the president to impose new taxes on oil and gas producers in an effort to try to lower prices at the pump. Gas prices soared following the Russian, uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and the national average is now down to $4.24 per gallon. Can you believe we're saying it's down to $4.24? And while the cost of gas is nearly 10 cents lower than its peak on March 11th, lawmakers are calling on the White House to do even more to keep the prices trending in that downward direction. And Jeff Stein joins us now for more on this. He's a White House economics reporter for The Washington Post. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Uh, what type of action, Jeff, is the Biden administration considering in response to these rising prices? Well, it's my understanding that this is sort of a five alarm fire at the White House. They are extremely intensely concerned. They have sort of thrown out all kinds of ideas internally to try to figure out what exactly they're going to do about this. High gas prices are one of the most salient political issues. People see it every day. They feel it in their pocketbooks and it affects the president's approval ratings quite dramatically. We have reported and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen told me last week that they are studying a uh, 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 suspension of the federal gas tax, which is about 18 cents per gallon. That really is not going to see it results in the kind of price relief that American consumers want. It's really going to take a restoration of international um, trade, because this is obviously a global commodity, to bring prices back down. But that and other measures we can get into, they are beginning to look at as, as potential short-term selves. So let's get into some of those measures, Jeff, because I'm curious if any of them actually address the soaring price of crude oil, or do they only lower prices once you get to the pump? Well, actually, right now, the price of crude oil does not seem like it's the key problem. We are seeing, especially today, Prices of crude oil internationally and in the U.S., the U.S. benchmark rate fell for the first time in a couple of weeks below $100. That's a sign that, you know, hopefully um, lower gas prices are on the way. We have not really seen, and you know, you mentioned in the intro, uh, you know, quite correctly, that gas prices are beginning to tick down ever so slightly. We haven't seen a corresponding decline in gas prices commensurate with the decline in oil prices. But the energy experts I talk to, you know, if you're if you're getting hurt by this, knock on wood, say that in the next couple of weeks, we should see high, lower oil prices begin to filter through into lower gas prices. The oil prices seem to be coming down primarily because um, signs, I guess, twofold, really, the first one is that the European restrictions on Russian oil and gas that were announced don't seem to be as dramatic as, as appeared at first blush. So the, the shock to global energy is, is less. And second, we're seeing encouraging signs, peace talks um, today in, uh, um, from Russia and Ukraine. If that accelerates, oil prices will continue to fall. Now, a few, several, uh, a few states, including Connecticut, Maryland, Georgia, have issued uh, their own gas tax holiday. Could we see this at the federal level? You know, last time we, we had a, a call for this, you know, this was a, a few months ago, the White House, we reported, was open to it. And then maybe three or four hours after the story came out, um, Joe Manchin and other Democrats said, you know, we're not really that interested in that. A lot of people in the administration sources I talked to are optimistic that maybe things have changed, that sort of the national security crisis, the military crisis has changed the domestic political economic equation, and therefore that members of the Senate may be more open to it. But again, you know, 18 cents on a gallon, you know, it, it would help, but it's not going to really get people to where they feel comfortable. Um, we, again, we could see federal action on that, but I, I'm still skeptical um, the administration is going to pull out all the stops to do something that probably won't even solve the problem. Mm. Jeffrey Stein, thank you. And Thanks for having me. 